Looks like new support is coming for ocean-style Yu-Gi-Oh decks. So, let's take some Sea Serpents against some Legendary Ocean and see what it comes down to. Uh, I'm excited to play these guys. They've done me exceedingly well in the past. But can I manage to break um, a Legendary Ocean deck with all the, like, semi-recent support it's gotten? We'll find out. I'm also running some Mermails uh, a bit more heavily than I've done in the past. So, we'll see if that uh, is something I'll stick with. But it's a deck of mixed concepts. What about yours? What am I expecting to see here? A lot of Mako Tsunami upgraded cards that that uh, I decided to add in. Like, he ran a recycle, and I realized that could be kind of useful in this deck, so I'm going to use it. All right. How useful, though? Jeez. <laughs> well, I guess I'll wait and see. Of course, the Jellyfish. We're going to see some of those level 4 water plays come out. Yep. I'm going to send away my the deep sea cd because a lot of these ocean cards just say this card is also treated as umi yeah you don't need umi in the deck anymore of course and to bring out the legendary fisherman great start now i do have a couple of link monsters i can do but they're not gonna give me any major benefits of using them right at this moment yes. so okay so i gotta deal with this before it becomes a bigger problem i don't even know what you have set down but yikes Okay, um, well, we are in a little bit of trouble. Let's start by using one for one. We're going to toss uh, Mermail Abystius to the grave so I can special summon Neptibus. And Neptibus will then activate to send Dragoons to the graveyard. Dragoons will activate his effect. Meanwhile, I can add something else to my hand. We're going to go, uh, let's do Call of the Atlanteans. I do want to get myself a heavy infantry, but, you know... We can't grab that yet, we can't grab that yet, so we'll just do that. Not that I have the full setup for it, but one day I might. We can now add to our hand more goodies, uh, considering the mathematics I'm going to conduct here in a moment. Um, no, it's not time yet. I really want to add Mullen Glacier, but you don't have any cards in your hand anyway, so we'll just add to my hand a Deep Sea Diva, because that's always going to be good for later. Alright, moving on, we're going to use Abystius. To send Poseidra to the graveyard. Out comes Abystius. Um, unfortunately, not a super strong one, but, uh, you know, it helps me add Mermels back. So we can get, what is the right move here? Um, I can do this, which means I could have comboed a little harder, um, but that's okay. I guess it's probably going to be a Bespike up next. Um, and, oh, I still have my normal summon? That's crazy. Okay, good to see. So, let's just do Deep Sea Diva, because it's phenomenal. And with Deep Sea Diva, if I summon my, uh, yep, Heavy Infantry, I can get... Ooh, it's another Sea Serpent, and unfortunately, I have a fish in my hand. One of the reasons I haven't uh, gotten used to running all the Mermails yet, because I have run some Sea Serpent-specific uh, decks for specific reasons. But that's okay. What can we now go into? There is a few wonderful options. Um, we could go for an Atlantean Marksman. Um, he will not be able to break anything on his field, so we should not do that. We can go for the Minstrel and do a little bit with that. Obviously, everything else on the field doesn't have a ton of use, so we're just going to do Heavy Infantry for its, you know, side effect. And I think it's time to Poseidra. Man, look at that back row. It's time to Poseidra. boop -a boop 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 Out it comes. Get back to your hand. Also, meanwhile, we'll use that. Destroy that. I don't know how it times up, but hopefully best. Uh, nope, it won't, because I'm activating Poseidra second. Oh, well. And then we'll summon this out, just because I don't have a ton of other great materials in there. And I, yeah, that's that's everything being used. Now, uh, what can I do with my surface? I could special summon my Deep Sea Diva and have a level 2 tuner on the field. Meaning... Uh, yeah, I think. Ah, oh, no, Trish only needs three. That's not the the perfect number for all that. That's okay. Um, but I could go into this, and that's pretty fun. Um, detach, negate other effects. That, yeah, that's going to be the end of the turn. Sure. So, let's just go for some battle. Wipe the field out as best as we can. And save our surface for next turn, when we might desperately need it. Battle. Attack. Destroy the legendary fisherman with a uh, sea serpent. I don't need no fish to take you down. Forget what the extra effect of that guy is. I know he does some searching. Oh yeah, negate if you have Umi on the field. So good chunk of damage here. You still have 3,000. 
so I'm not going to rush into Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, um, as funny as that would be, considering it's nothing to do with the ocean whatsoever. But we will go into Abyss Megalos. So, Abyss or Abyss Megaios, rather. So this can detach material and negate the effects of all the face-up monsters, which is obviously my intention. So during uh, either player's turn, yes. Okay, so that is so I, really good. I have actually. a negate. Simple as that. And with three cards in your hand, um, then I'll be at some being searched. I think I'm still comfortable with ending the turn there. Alrighty. <sighs> I was actually hoping that I was going to keep the recycle because I was actually going to put back uh, my Megala City and I was actually going to activate a little bit of a combo. But you kind of stopped that. Oh, yeah, true. All the cards in your hand are stuff I sent back to your hand. That's right. <laughs> Let's see if I can do an... Oh, I had... Did I have Call of the Atlantis in my hand that whole time? I could have had Poseidra out again. Oh, well. We know for later. Okay, so what is going to be the best course of action now? I have a, a Deep Sea Minstrel who can be used, and, um, well, there's a few things we could do. Let's just try playing a little bit with the Mermails. Let's summon Abyss Pike. It can be used, send my Minstrel to the graveyard, and then add to my hand, um, oh, cool, any of my Sea Serpent monsters. Well, guess what? Minstrel doesn't work because I don't have any cards in the hand. No, it wasn't going to be using that effect anyway, but that is certainly correct. So, let's do this, I guess. I don't think I need this for anything, but... Um, yeah, we'll just grab it because we can. I don't have a specific goal in mind for any of this right now. Is there any level 5 funsies I can go into? Uh, no, neither are there level threes I can work with, um, but considering your hand is so very empty, um, I do have one thing I can do. It's not the best thing to do right now, but I'm going to do it anyway, because Pot of Avarice. I fill my graveyard so quick with here. Let's get some more draws. And, oh! I, of course, when I have five water monsters in the graveyard, that's when I draw Mullen Glacier by sending them back. Cool. Um, I guess... What can I do here? This is decarded to the graveyard, target. <laughs> okay, so my synergy plays weren't on point there, let's be honest. Um, but we can do this. Um, I guess we'll keep Mullen Glacier, because, you know, eventually he'll do his thing. So we can do that. We can then. Sure. We'll use Surface just to summon this. Not that it's going to do anything significant. Um, but. What is something spicy we can do? Uh, we can go into Zealantis, which is fun. Um, I can banish all monsters on the field! Woo! No. Um, not a good duel for going into Miss Starboy, if I'm being honest. And... We could go into Abyss Alacia. Not bad. During your opponent's turn, send a card. Add a Mermail monster from deck to hand. Sure, we'll just use that. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but we'll use these two. So now that'll help that system out a little bit. And, uh, well, there's damage on the field, and I don't think he got anything to stop me. So let's find out. Ice Barrier! Oh, that's wonderful, actually. It's really wonderful. Not enough to save me, but... No. Jeez, uh, and that's permanent, huh? It is permanent, yeah. That's huge when I had a big, strong negate on the field like that. As you said, probably not enough, but good. Uh, yeah, I just had the electric jellyfish back, but not you're you literally got me right here. Yeah, we'll In go at you with dragoons and go at you with this. So my play here to end it um, would have been to uh, link off my guy so I get five water monsters into the graveyard and then go <laughs> Mullen Glacier to empty your hand of the one card you just got. Um, but not super necessary when your opponent plays all their cards anyway. So what I gotta do is combo up Poseidra with Moulin Glacier better. I need to Poseidra cards back into your hand just so I can make you discard them. So we'll try to do that this time around. However, ew, that's a weak opener, isn't it? So, hmm. Tribute this on one C7 monster. I need multiple things to do all of that. Um, this would be lovely to play in a combo. I think what we're gonna do here is set a card and end the turn realizing we don't have any combo starters. Woo! 
You're not the only one, actually. You're Woo! not the only one, actually. I know I have a play, it's just not a good play. Alright, okay, Deep Sea Diva's here. We're good, we're good, everyone. Deep Sea Diva's arrived. Um, we have heavy infantry, which we could have done to get a Poseidra out last turn, but it would have just been a wall of attack points. Um, we're going to activate Deep Sea Diva. Deep Sea Diva will then summon Neptibus. Neptibus combos up, of course. Does his thing. Ooh, Mario's got some stuff. Oh, he's not using it. We are going to send not. to the graveyard Dragoons. Not using it. Not yeah. using it. That's right. Okay, add to my hand. I think I need a Poseidra. Will I get him here by any other means? I don't remember. Let's add him now. Just because I'd love to use him right now. And then that will add... Okay, this could have added Poseidra. Um, but let's try to make this add... Oh, nope, I already have a Mulling Glacier. What can I do to make this extra spicy? Um, sure. We add a Lapis Dragon to the hand. One that um, I've seen some other Sea Serpent decks are running, and I haven't really tried before. So, by using the yeah, effect of Dragoons... Free summon. Never seen this one. Yeah, level 5 tuner as well. So, not too shabby. Can immediately go into a deep sea prima donna if I'd like. So, that's kind of nice. Um, or, let's see. Realistically, I want to get uh, one more water monster in my graveyard here. Um, I guess there's no reason for me not to do that. So, instead of uh, doing the Besidra summon, I'd re. <sighs> Besidra's just so good right now, though. Yeah, we're just going to summon Besidra. It's just too good to pass up. Turn all your stuff to your hand, but it could just all be dead cards, could be baits. I can literally summon everything in my extra deck right now. Okay, not literally, but nearly. So, what is the play? So many good cards. Yeah, let's do stuff. Uh, so, I think I'm gonna go into Trishula. Is that correct? Uh, no, I can't do him without getting rid of only four materials. Unfortunate. Can I go into this and then something else? Uh, no, because then I'd be stuck with two tuners. And Trish Lev requires uh, two non-tuners specifically. So what if I go into a Tatsunoko? Why, why not, right? There's got to be some good plays with Tatsunoko. We love this guy. Little worm right here. Now, he is a water monster, so he will count for my uh, dark ambitions. Um, but not those number of things. I really want to do all my stuff here. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think I can. We can still activate our Poseidra, sending Tatsunoko away. Um, but he really wants to be used as synchro material. So, that I can oh, just use other things from hand. Never mind, we might be in business. I don't know. Let's just go for Trishula. Have some fun with it. Uh, use this guy, this guy, and this. Oh, and we get to keep our Lapis Dragon. Wonderful. Which means we're a little shy of using our Mulling Glacia, but we'll do some stuff. So, Trishula comes out. Just because we can. Oh god! Did you already, you already activated target, right? No. Uh, now I'm activating to banish. Let's go right down the middle. Um, oh, uh, that was, that's what I was. That's what I was worried about. Mm. So, the timing. Because I knew if I activate metaverse and put out a field spell, you were gonna banish the field spell instead. And if you, but if I don't activate it i was hoping that i was gonna tar the second you target them card i was gonna have a chance to activate it after you tar selected the target so i could have still gotten the field spell out but timing did not allow me to gotcha i'm gonna go into a prima donna here just to see if i can do a little something extra uh, i can target one of your banished monsters here you go you can have it back i just want to summon more things so with that i can special summon i think i'm just special summoning another water monster did you bring yeah. it back to the hand or to the field? Uh, I think to your hand. Well, it was never on the field. So let's... Or special summon. Just go for... I'm still in main phase one, so I guess I could benefit off just adding my one copy of uh, Marksman here. Um, so, sure. Why not? I'll do that. Or I could just do more Neptibus. But I think Neptibus already used his effect. Yeah, probably. So, might have been last turn, actually. But here we go. There you go. You got your guy back. And with that, jeez, I have it in the deck just because I was building concepts, but you can go from, uh, you can do that with Deep Sea Prima Donna and then go right into a Baron de Fleur if you wanted to. That is brutal. Um, for more attack, I could go into this Ice Jade monster. It is a, uh, you know, water monster that fits the bill. So you activate this face of monsters, can't be destroyed. Quick effect, nice. 
Um, your opponent has a card on the field. Well, I don't have the ability to do any of that just yet. So let's go to battle. Let's just get my effect of marksman out here. Because I don't always get to use him. But here he goes. And he lets me summon another um, one of my Atlanteans. So, in this particular case, I could go for more damage with Dragoons. Or, well, actually, yeah, let's do Dragoons because I want to try a level 4 in this situation. And then he gets to attack. Now, can I go for another thing? No, I can't go for the Trishula Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Okay, fine. Um, what I will do, just to possibly get myself some more cards, since I don't have anything critical of use in the graveyard right now, we will return things to the deck from with Pot of Avarice, getting myself more draws. Um, what should we keep in the graveyard? Because if I get certain things, that would be nice. I guess I'll return the uh, Mermails. That sounds good. I really don't care about Atlantean Triton. He probably doesn't need to be in the deck for much longer, but we'll return... Uh, heavy infantry since we only got one copy of that or two one or the other all right we got ourselves another copy of deep sea diva but of course we cannot play it all right now is there a reason to go into something like this um, is there a reason to hmm. i think i might just stick with this field it's scary enough right are you are you scared no oh okay i gotta go into f scarier field good <laughs> nah, i'll just end it right here Ah, oh, come on. So, okay, so I might as well tell you. Mm -hmm. I needed that legendary ocean because I have the I have almost the perfect legendary fisherman hand, mm -hmm. but I needed the metaverse. That's why I was kind of hoping you were gonna go into Poseidra, because mm -hmm. if you would have activated Poseidra, I was going to activate the uh, yeah. the metaverse. It would have popped out the legendary ocean onto the field. You would have returned all the cards to the field from the back to the hand, and I would have had it still in my hand to activate on my turn. Because I didn't want to give you a legendary ocean, because not only would it power you up, but it would also possibly facilitate a lot more of your plays. Possibly. So. Yeah, just a little reminder to everyone who plays Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, it's very seldomly going to help you, um, but don't set your important cards in the middle. That's just a basic psychology thing that someone would do. And if you want to target something and you don't think your opponent's playing mind games against you, target the card in the middle. It might be important to them. But that's that's that. Doesn't really mean much most of the time, but sometimes it works out. Anyway. Anything yeah. else from you? Because I was going to... Because I might as well tell you, I had sure. a Legendary Fisherman 2 was going to bring him out, and then that immediately lets me bring out Legendary Fisherman 3, which <laughs> allows me to banish all cards your when Special Summon banishes all monsters that your opponent would be controls. That would be very good, especially against this field. I can't stop it. Yeah, but I can't bring out a Legendary Fisherman 2 because I needed that Legendary Ocean. Yeah, <laughs> correct. Sorry. Uh, let's have some fun here. Let's go just to clear up some space on the field. I guess I might as well activate this. Is there a benefit to me doing so? Uh, now nah, we can just... I don't want to mess up my numbers that I know are going to work here. So let's go into Ice Jade. Boop. Um, Deep Sea Prima Donna. Um, that'll return that to the deck for you. There you go. It's back. Um, what can this do? Uh, no, we don't need to do none of that. Now we're going to summon Mulling Glacier. And probably could have done this in a better order, but that's fine. To get the cards out of your hand. Wonderful. And oh, goodbye, Legendary Fisherman 3. Yeah. Uh, this, I can select the card to banish. I don't think I can do anything additional with that. Was that just Was that just the effect of the Mulling Glacier? Yeah. Yes. Just gets rid of two of your cards from hand. Uh, anything even spicier for me to go into here? Um, well, it surely isn't necessary. Um, but here, we'll activate this. There, I can't be destroyed or anything now. Um, yeah, I just have too much good stuff on my field. I can't actually summon Poseidra right now, unfortunately. But you get the idea. Battle. And we'll let Trishula deal the final blow. So a lot of boss monsters I can bring out with this deck. Um, I should really hone in which ones I want to go into first and whatnot, but uh, you want me to go first? 
I guess, yeah, because you benefit from going second I sure do. way more. Oh, we opened with the Lapis Dragon in our hand, which means... Why do I keep... I only have two copies of this card. Three duels in a row, Zylo. <laughs> Three duels in a row. I have drawn both copies of this card. Nice. Well, let's just uh, do our dream combo again. You see these three on the field again. Classic. Sending to the Graveyard Dragoons. Dragoons will add more stuff to my hand. Since I have a Lapis Dragon in my hand, I want to get other stuff that can help me discard things. Um, but we're just going to add the Poseidra right now. Sure. That will allow me to add um, a lot of things, really. We could go for a Mulan Glacier immediately, but not necessarily what I want to do. So... But maybe I can set it up for next turn and do something big and scary. Let's try it. We gotta try to use some of these Mermel plays a little more effectively. And sure don't want to banish my Atlantean Dragoon, so we're gonna hold off on using Deep Sea Aria. Um, if we go into our Tatsunoko, um, we can get something moving here. Because realistically, this field is going to be wrecked if I leave it out here. So let's do something. Um, we can use Tatsunoko to just get materials out of my hand, which could be huge. Uh, but then again, the only material I would be using is a tuner, so not quite as huge as I'd like. We can go into a level 10, which, you know, if we weren't playing with our standard rulings, getting a Baron to flare on the field could be kind of nice, but not super necessary. Maybe I will still go into uh, a little bit of this combo, but nah, I want to I wanna really use this Abyss Megal. So my play would be to potentially set up onto the field the Ice Jade G Gymir, um, which could just like, kind of protect himself, but I think we're just going to play it nice and slow. I should still go into something that all being said and done. So, is it going to be Abyssalacia? Sure. No, I don't have any other of those to support in here. Is it going to be Repetur in defense mode? Oh, gosh, I got nothing. Well, sure. I'll still do it. Then I might as well just go for the Tatsunoko. Just to get more pieces moving. There you guys go. Tatsunoko. Oh! Oh, no, I, could, I didn't search my uh, Mullen Glacier. Darn it, could have set that up a little better. Oh, and I actually can't go into much of anything with this. So, yeah, I'll just end the turn right here. It's whatever. I'm just setting myself up for later anyway. End turn. I want to make my next turn big. I know there's plays I could have gone into here, but I don't know how to protect against whatever you're running. Because I know you do a lot All of right. offensive things as well. See stealth two, and uh, yeah, just setting up a ton of cards. Oh gosh! Because, because my deck keeps giving me the exact same three cards. I'm not kidding, you, Zylo. If you look back on the footage, all three of my starting hands had the exact same three cards, and one of them I only run one of in this deck. Still sounds like a skill issue, but I'll, I'll, I'll abide it. Um, anyway, what can I do here? I have plenty of cards to get rid of for Abyss Megalo, so that sounds nice. I guess I will certainly do that right now. Target, I will get rid of the Lapis Dragon, since he ain't doing nothing now. And I'm going to hold on to my Heavy Infantry in hand, just because he's not going to have any uh, cards to target destroy. Or actually, no, he target destroys anything, really, doesn't he? Sure. We'll, uh, you know, we'll hold on to the Lapis Dragon, because no one else get, needs positive effects out of this. Yep. So there we go. We get to summon him, destroy that, and get myself the Abyss Scale. Alright, what's next? Uh, Mullen Glacier. No, that'd be nice, but I did not search him. So we will use Deep Sea Aria to get one of these lovely water monsters out of the graveyard. They're actually all valuable to me in the graveyard, so we're going to weirdly get rid of Dragoons in this situation. And then add to my hand, um, Deep Sea Diva. Let's not be stupid about it. Deep Sea Diva, normal summons. Activate. Might as well get me the other Neptibus. Do all the plays as they're me meant to be played. And then that will send to the graveyard. Dragoons, to get all the searches all over again. Um, adding to my hand, I don't know who I want. Um, we'll add another Poseidra. And then that's we'll add. I just wanted more in Glacier at some point here. And I can now. Um, but, uh, darn it! I don't have too, I have too many things on the field. I can't play Mullen Glacier. <laughs> ah, well. 
we will go for Poseidra, I guess. To get that back row all cleaned up nice and fine. Um, yeah, we're going to try to time these things right. So we're going to go for you first. Then we're going to go for... Oh, wait, now do you destroy a face-up card? Yeah, you don't have any face-up cards, so... No need to activate that effect, but you, of course, can special summon one more I thing. do... I do hate that you targeted a, you targeted my only face-up Umi out of all the cards you could have par targeted. I can only target face-ups, so yeah. Had to be done. Um, okay, then we can activate this, discard two water monsters. Oh, wait, no, then I can add Abyss spell traps. Do I have other ones? Um, I don't know. Let's activate and find out. Oh, no, I'm using the tribute effect. All right. See you, Dragoons. So he gets, like, two attacks, and I had someone else to hand. Uh, do I have any more crazy things? Uh, I don't know, man. I have too many good cards. Um, sure, you let me send more things to the graveyard if I need to. Okay. Now what? I guess we activate this. That's gonna be nice. We have a Poseidra on the field. I guess I want to put something else on the field to make a good tuner option. Uh, I just don't have anything too crazy. So, what would happen if I sent more water monsters to the graveyard? Uh, nothing really. Can I normal summon my Lapis Dragon to any great effect? Also, not really. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna normal summon Deep Sea Minstrel. Simple as that. Uh, I do not happen to have any lovely level uh, 6 synchros in this deck. So that will not be done with this play. Um, however, I can, I think, guarantee the win if I just juice up my uh, Abyss Megalo. So let's do that. Let's help all the water monsters on both our fields. Good yeah, when time. both when everyone's getting when everyone's getting that bonus, it's like doesn't really matter in the end, does it? <laughs> yeah, when the field's empty, it's it's worth it. So he gets his two attacks, of course, because of that search, and yeah, we'll let the Miss Star Boy take the win. Do you think do you think mod water monsters are fireproof, Zylo? No. We've we've done that matchup dozens of times on the channel oh no i'm not talking about that well i throw this deck into a bonfire oh uh, <laughs> yeah hey new support coming maybe that'll help you be a little more consistent uh get more searchers yeah, in there I, I no it wasn't even that like i drew searchers but mm -hmm. the issue is uh, i kept drawing the same three cards like if any other combination of cards i had in the hand like the combo the cards are supposed to combo with each other because they came out like it's like the, the the monsters that came out of, that were supposed to be upgraded versions of Mako Tsunami's monsters. Mm -hmm. They came out. They were all supposed to be able to search Umi or be able to bring cards that have Umi in the text. Yeah. I think I it just might have too them. many of the, uh, the side support cards in there. It might be that, but, I, but I'm still salty that the same three cards kept popping up in my hand. I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. Why? Well, we'll see what the new support is when it comes. Until then, uh, water monsters are still, you know, kind of held down by some of the stronger options available. Not even just the Atlanteans and Mermails, but there's other good ones out there. But let us know if you um, want to see any Marin of them. Marin says all those cards. Yeah, Marin says are good. Uh, just anytime you bring out sharks or kraken lately, they're Rika. actually pretty fierce. Yeah, those ones are good. So let us know if you want to see any of those match up, potentially, and we can do that in the future. Subscribe so you don't miss it when it comes, and we'll see you next time. See ya, folks.